okay so let's continue with the video we did the, the last one we've done in terms of cash budget uh, we did um, um, fixed overheads of 400,000 uh, per annum are payable one month in Aries so in this case monthly fixed um, overheads we divided 450,000 by 12 that would give me 37,500 so in this case we're paying fixed overheads uh, 30, um, 37,500 for each month as I said for the for April March we don't have any because we are paying that the next month so for each month we pay the fixed overheads next month yeah okay uh, what we have next so we've done that also um, uh, fixed overheads now moving the balances on the accounts at 29th of February where uh, amounts owed by customers hundred and uh, 20,000 in this case in previous months remember that uh, customers they are uh, buying from us on credit in this case they pay the next month um, the, the, rema the reminder they pay straight away uh, 30 35 percent so in this case customers they pay 35 percent of uh, what they purchase from us and the next month they pay the remaining so in this case, they paid previous in in, in February uh, thirty five percent of their purchases, and this case for March in this case they will pay hundred and twenty thousand. In this case, we have uh, sales February we have hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah, hundred twenty thousand in. Uh, March we have also amount um, owed to suppliers for purchases 70, 75,000 in this case we have that for um, uh, March as well we have purchases February we have 75,000 yeah so we've done that as well we have also uh, fixed uh, for um, overheads. We have fixed uh, thirty-seven thousand and variable fifteen thousand. Let's do. Um, we have variable said fifteen thousand for March, and fixed we have um, thirty-seven thousand. So we've done. Uh, both of them we have also balance at bank 60,000 so at the beginning in this case we have opening balance um, we have we have opening balance 60,000 okay let's check now everything what we've done so we have um, we have total receipts for each month yeah total receipts for each month we have also We have also total payments yeah, for each month. Yep, total payments. So we just uh, doing sum up of uh, uh, total receipts. So whatever we had as a uh, um, money in, yeah. So this is the total for each month and we have money out or cash out so money uh, cash in and cash out so this is cash out we have also net cash flow so uh, total receipts minus um, total um, payments so we have 
this for uh, for March we have that for um, April we have for May June July and August now we have um, we have the opening balance so opening balance at bank so we can see that we have the net cash flow um, all positive until we reached July we have negative um, the cash flows we have uh, negative let's so let's see what difference would it make with adding the open it, the opening balance and also uh, moving the opening balance closing balance for each month okay so for um, closing balance for March what we have we have um, the net cash flow plus oh, let's do it let's do it some okay so we have um, net cash flow plus open it balance at bank so this straight away will moving so now now since we closing the balance so this balance closing balance in March will be the opening balance in April yeah so in this case you move that so this is opening balance okay so this and same same thing we do for all of them yeah so um, opening balance closing balance in April is going to be the opening balance in uh, May um, this is going to be um, the closing balance in May is going to be the opening balance in June um, and the opening uh, the closing balance in June is going to be the opening balance in July and finally the closing balance in July is going to be the opening balance in in August so we have now the closing balance at the bank so the money that we have at the bank at the end of each month we have for March we have hundred and seventy four thousand seven hundred and fifty for April we have three hundred eighty seven thousand seven hundred and fifty for uh, May uh, what we have at the bank at the end of the month May um, five hundred thousand two hundred and fifty and for June we have five hundred twenty thousand and July what we have in a bank 500,000 uh, 509,000 and August we have 502,000 so by doing that we see that how uh, the business is doing so this is forecasting cash budget for six months based on previous activities of the business so this will show me what the business position in each each month and what is going to be the balance at the bank based on uh, the estimated uh, figures thank you thank you for listening i hope uh, this video is beneficial for you thank you